Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profitech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. If from this video session guys, we are going to start a new created our playlist called WordPress Data and Request Security. In the whole playlist guys, we will see that how can we protect our plugin data as well as theme data from unsecure environment. Okay, we will protect our data as well as the request that actually we will make from our plugin is safe. So basically guys this is our first part in this playlist video session so in this video session we will discuss about the introduction and how many types of ways that actually we will go to move and protect our data okay as well as guys if you are a beginner to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our various playlist of online web tutor also guys if you want to prefer some documentation study then this is the link actually you have to follow this is the official website of developers.wordpress.org so just go to browser and this is the website guys that actually you can follow to learn that how can we protect our plugin data and request from unsecure environment okay so the following ways guys actually mention here like check user capabilities validate and sanitize input sanitize output and create and validate nonces these are the actually guys ways to protect our data as well as request from unsecure environment okay so in the whole playlist guys actually after this video session means from the next video session from part 2 we will take the example of this plugin that actually we have developed this plugin before that okay it contains two video sessions and all of the code of this plugin actually uploaded inside this github repository okay we will take example of that plugin and we will implement all these methods all these things to protect our data from this plugin so guys if i zoom to documentation section then as you can see that congratulation your code works but is it safe obviously guys that we have made this plugin before this video session or playlist okay but this actually the form that we made is not protected from unsecure environment okay but successfully we have made this plugin and also we have implemented to our wordpress setup as well as we have uploaded the code right here the plugin is itself not secure so how can we protect our plugin from unsecure environment as well as how can we protect our form data as well as the request that actually we have made so in accordance to protect our data from unsecure environment we have to follow this type of things okay where we have to check the user capabilities validate and sanitize our input sanitize output and create and validate nonces okay so basically guys this is our introduction part so basically these are the things that we are going to cover in the whole playlist okay where actually we have check about the user capabilities about the validate and sanitize input this basically means that when someone enters the form data then we have to validate and sanitize input before saving to our database field and sanitize output means suppose if we have some values to our database table so before rendering the value to the page we have to sanitize that and also we have to create and validate the nonces basically it indicates the number used ones it basically generates a unique number which actually uses the request like ajax or javascript okay and in the first section we basically check the user capabilities means the user role according to that user role what we have to operation that we have to operate we will decide on taking the user consideration so guys these are the very basic steps that we have to follow to make our plugin or theme more secure okay so from the next video session guys that is part number two we will follow each and every step step by step to make our plugin secure okay so for from the next video session guys you have to download this plugin means w next plugin we will make or we have to do all experiment about these things on that plugin okay so i want that you should download this code from right from this github repository and also you haven't watched the previous video sessions about the wp next plugin then i strongly suggest you to watch these videos also so if we move to the documentation section of this official website of WordPress so these are the things that actually we have got from this official website okay so just move next checking user capabilities this is the next topic that we will cover in the next video session but the thing that actually the main thing is that what are the documentation it provides let us discuss first so first let's zoom out okay so now if I scroll down so basically user roles and capabilities basically denotes that what type of actually user is logged in as per the user roles guys we know that the WordPress actually provides the following types of user roles something like that like administrator editor author contributor and subscriber according to their own user role they have some specific permission to do any operation 
okay so according to their rules as well as the user capabilities we will decide that which type of operation actually we will are going to perform okay so these are the things that we have to attach in the first way to protect our data okay so just move to next we will discuss about this topic in detail guys in our next video session about the user capabilities and role okay we are going to look over or make overview of all these points one by one so next point that we need to cover is something about data validation data validation simply it refers that we need to validate data before saving or before sending request to a server means if we are taking some input from the user then we need to validate that data in by using javascript or by server side okay before saving to the database field okay so now it contains that check the fields re required fields have not been left blank obviously if we are making some fields like required then we need to check that the fields should be filled okay so these are the things that we need to cover in the data validation chapter okay so just and uh, now these are the functions as you can see built in php functions we can use to validate our means data as well as the core wordpress functions we can also use to validate our data okay so these are comes within inside the chapter of called data validation so just scroll down next click on secure input in this section guys we will sanitize our input before saving to database field basically sanitization means the value which actually we will clean or filter suppose if someone user has entered the means html tag into our input box but we have to clear or filter the tags from our input box okay so after filtering this is known as the sanitizing okay so after sanitizing the whole input we actually go and save the data to the database field okay so this whole process for clearing and filtering is called sanitizing data okay so basically sanitization chapter contains these are the methods these are the functions provided by wordpress to sanitize our input okay so now I scroll down so just click on securing input basically guys securing output securing output is the process of escaping output data if suppose someone has entered the html tag or you may say the tags into our database table directly he has means saved the value to the database field so how can we means so all the data escape from the tags to our output page we want to remove all the tags from means the output that actually we are getting from the database field we need to remove all the tags okay so these are comes under securing output and now the finally comes that is nonsense basically it is most important thing guys to protect our request basically for the javascript section or the for ajax part if you are sending any request to a server to get or fetch or put any data then in that specific condition we need to use nonsense because it provides a unique number passed every time with each request okay so basically in this chapter guys we will cover about something different from all the things that we have studied so basically guys these are the things that we have seen about the four sections that we are going to cover in this whole playlist called wordpress data and security okay so now guys we hope that all we have to cover from the next video session guys okay so if you have any query in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day